Hello and welcome to Shortcuts, the weekly show where we teach you how to do something cool in your Lightworks video editor in two minutes or less. My name is David Winter, I'm a video editor here at Lightworks, and today I'm going to talk to you about ranged markers. Now ranged markers aren't as cool or as fun as some of the previous things we've shown you how to do in Lightworks, but they are an essential part of the editing process that's going to save you a lot of time. These are really useful for things like clipping highlights out of a sports or esports game, or just sorting through your footage to find the best takes and get something down into the timeline. They're easier to show than explain, so let's get the two minute timer up on the clock now and dive right in. So here we are inside Lightworks. You can see I've got a clip already loaded in here. It's quite a long one, lots of different segments to it. So the way range markers work is you simply hit the I key. You can click your in point here, but it's easier to hit the I key to set an in point. Go along, find roughly the end of your clip, and then press the M key, or this green button here. And this brings up this Q marker box. We'll give that a name, maybe set it to a different color. And there you go, we've made our first range marker. We'll go along, got our lady in red here, so we'll hit the I key. Go along, hit the M key, give it a name again. Leave that as green for now. There you go, we've created another ranged marker. So we'll do we'll do one more one. So I for in point, M for marker, and we'll just call that one TV, make it purple. So there you go, we've created some range markers. Now what can we do with them? Well, there's a few different things really. Number one, we can right click anywhere around here, go to make, and you've got two options. If you click sub clip, click yes, there you go, it brings out your free range markers as separate clips for you. So they're now separate from the main clip, which still exists here. The other thing you can do is go to make again and click sequence. Make sure you click cues rather than whole clip, click create, and there you go. You can see that's created a new sequence for us. If we double click on that to open it up, you can see that it's put our clips in our timeline for us as three separate clips. There's one last way you can interact with this. If you hover your mouse around here, you'll see this little bar, drag it up, and there you go. You can see your list of cues. From here, you can delete them if you want, you can edit them, you can drag them down to your timeline, a number of different things you can do. That's range markers in action. Now you know how to use them, you'll find sorting through footage considerably easier. Give them a go, let us know how you get on in the comments below, and don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe button, all buttons of that nature, so you can stay tuned for the next episode of Shortcuts. Thanks for watching.